And welcome, everybody, to another exciting episode of The Mark Bishop Show. You know, there are trends emerging ahead for 2022 for successful digital transformation initiatives in business. For many businesses, technology has been a lifeline during the global pandemic, accelerating the need to do business online. And those who were already doing business online before the pandemic, like online retail, they had a head start. Now, for many, it was a forcing function to embark on digital transformation, enabling new ways of working and doing business, creating new customer interactions and experiences, and improving health and safety is no easy task. So for this episode, I've invited Nikhil Behel, who is the CMO for FICO. Welcome, Nikhil. Mark, thank you so much for having me on. A uh, big fan of the Mark Bishop Show and excited to be here with you today. Thank you. Well, Nikhil, it seems that financial institutions, all you know, auto lenders, insurance companies, they've all pivoted towards the digital transformation with different levels of success. That's correct, uh, Mark. Um, you know, especially with the pandemic, uh, uh, digital transformation was no longer a nice to have or a luxury. It really is a necessity and, and it became, uh, it became urgent uh, for them. Um, as uh, as we all move to uh, a, a digital work environment and a digital, um, for the most part, life environment, um, almost overnight. Yeah, well, it's become clear that uh, that to be successful now, companies need to build a complete infrastructure uh, that you know facilitates the entire right. customer journey. Otherwise, you're left behind, aren't you? That that's exactly right. Um, uh, you know. Uh, we recently just put out a 2022 FICO Trends report on, you know, what makes companies successful um, as they embark on this uh, process. And, um, you know, it's really something that uh, is near and dear to our hearts, Mark. Uh, you know, FICO was founded 65 years ago on the premise that uh, data-driven insights, uh, when converted into decisions and executed on, um, really can uh, help create a, a better tomorrow. And, um, you know, 30 years ago, we launched the FICO score, uh, which is our most well-known uh, uh, product out there. Mm -hmm. And it really is the uh, most widely used uh, credit score for lending decisions in the U.S. But what people don't realize is that we have an as successful um, uh, analytic software business, an applied analytic software business, that really helps enterprises uncover new opportunities you know, make timely decisions that matter and execute them at scale. And so we have access to, you know, um, the world's leading banks and fintechs and payment processors and credit unions. And we've also combined a lot of the interactions and, and, and research that we've conducted with them mm -hmm. with our own research as well as third-party research that we picked up from surveys and studies and, and research reports to create this um, 2022 trends report. And there are five major trends, Mark, that we've picked up um, you know, that, that uh, uh, successful companies are, are doing um, that has really enabled their transformation to be more successful than, than others. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm excited to share those five trends with you today, Mark. Well, let's face it, over the past year, FICO, you've spoken to thousands of customers across dozens of industries and conducted numerous surveys, studies and research reports. And as you say, from all of that, these big five come out. So by all means, please share these. All right, fantastic. You know, I'll quickly run through them and then maybe we can dive into each one a little bit more, uh, Mark, if, uh, if that works for you. Okay. Um, you know, trend number one is really uh, embracing the power of data. Um, trend number two is investing in infrastructure that allows a company uh, to harness that data uh, and make the most of it. Trend number three is really about how those companies then take that infrastructure that they're putting in place to create a unified experience across the entire customer journey. Um, and trend number four is those companies that are able to infuse uh, a, a human element into that, uh, uh, that digital customer journey that they're putting in place. And trend number five is really those companies that you know, are making smarter, faster decisions to create hyper-personalized and deliver, frankly, hyper-personalized experiences in that digital space you know, for, for their customers. Mm -hmm. Those are the five, uh, Mark. And, uh, you know, if, if, if you'd like, we can dive into some of those. Well, I want to ask you this. I mean, with all of that, how did COVID-19, uh, you know, uh, plus other global events, do you mind for the past year, how do, how do they shape your findings overall? 
Um, but Mark, uh, you know, as 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 your uh, viewers know, um, we overnight um, had to change the way in which we lived our lives, and companies had to respond overnight to you know this this new way of functioning. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and and companies that had started that journey certainly had a, a leg up uh, in that process. But this was no longer a luxury for everybody. It was a necessity in order for them to be able to continue to operate and, and function and deliver an experience for their, for their customers. As they migrated, as they, as they overnight had to shift, um, you know, companies had to start putting a digital experience in, in place. Um, and they very quickly had to start learning what worked and what didn't work. And what we found through these five is that, you know, those companies that figured out how to make these five come alive and implement them and execute on them effectively are really the ones that were successful. And, and they are the trends that are going to, you know, uh, lead into uh, uh, 2022 and, and beyond. And, and companies really need to start thinking about how do they do these five things really, really well. Mm-hmm. Well, let's look at them. That's creating a unified experience across the customer journey. In the few minutes we've got left, uh, give me a brief on each of these. Absolutely. Uh, so, you know, uh, trend, um, uh, the third trend that we talked about was creating this unified experience across the entire customer journey. And, you know, com- companies that are able to provide their customers with a consistent, with an intuitive, with a personalized and unified experience are the ones that are really winning out there. You know, for example, y- you and I both have our mobile phones and, you know, uh, companies uh, have apps out there. And so, um you know, I, for one, uh, will go into my banking app and start a loan application, for example. Uh, but then when I come home, I want to pick up that application and I want to be able to deal with that application uh, on the website. And and then I want to be able to go into a branch to finish it off. And, and I want the financial institution that I'm working with to be able to enable that process for me to, uh, uh, to happen um, in, in, a, in a consistent, intuitive way but also one that is unified across all of those touch points. Um, and we've been spoiled, uh, frankly, um, uh, Mark, by many other folks out there. You know, uh, we shop on Amazon as a family and Amazon has, has set expectations with us that we carry into, you know, other um, experiences that we have. You know, likewise, we watch uh, shows on Netflix and, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll be watching it on my phone and I want to, you know, pick it up at home uh, on my TV. And I don't want to start again or be able to tell the, you know, Netflix where I left off. I want them to know. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, you know, that experience has translated just about everywhere. And and the expectation today is um, that there's going to be a unified experience across, uh, you know, that that customer journey. Um, And what powers that, uh, Mark, is really the ability of of a company to be able to take all the information that they have, the data that they have, um, to be able to apply analytics to that data, to be able to gain insights from applying those analytics, and then taking those insights, converting them into decisions, and then having those decisions be executed to drive an outcome. Um, that is really what makes this happen. And when you're talking about a multi-channel journey uh, or a multi-channel uh, interaction point, like I talked about uh, earlier, you cannot do that if your systems are broken up into into silos. Mm. You really have to make sure that you have a unified platform, um, like FICO's Applied Intelligence Platform, for example, that is enabling that to occur. Now, research is absolutely showing that the companies that are thinking about this from an overarching customer journey perspective and are putting in place a platform that allows them to deliver on that uh, uh, different touch points with that customer across that that journey utilizing the information and the intelligence that they're harvesting from the information that they have are the ones that are, that are winning out there. So it sounds to me, it's all under one roof, push a button and the works happen. So that's a good thing with FICO. You, you know, you've made a, a, a conscious decision to say, look, what can we do to give better customer service easier to do? How can I make faster credit decisions? You know, how can we use data better and so on? So for businesses, is everything, uh, tell me, on the www.fico.com website, is a lot of this explained on that, uh, Nikhil? That's right. Um, you can learn more about uh, the, and, and actually read the 2022 FICO Trends Report on our website at okay. www.fico.com. 
And if you'd like to learn more about, uh, you know, how to bring some of these things to life, uh, uh, feel free to contact us through the website. Um, we've got numerous ways, including chat and um, one of one of the, the FICO uh, team members will be happy to to help you. All right. Thank you so much. Nikhil Behel, everybody, is the uh, chief marketing officer for FICO and uh, interesting stuff. But listen, you know, go to the site because that way you can have a cup of tea or coffee, whatever, and really study it and talk to somebody to get some really in-depth health. www.fico.com. Thanks again, Nikhil, and uh, good luck for the new year. Thank you, Mark. Much appreciate you having me on. Have a wonderful holiday.